Hello and welcome to a quick unboxing of the latest Lebanon Circle effect, Ghosts of America and Ghosts of Great Britain. Now this is based on the um, A Book at Midnight effect and each deck comes with 26 cards all depicting Ghosts of America and famous Ghosts of Great Britain. So let's have a look inside Ghosts of America first of all. One thing you'll notice when you receive this is the weight of the deck. It's very, um, it's substantially heavy, a lot more different to um, previous Lebanon Circle decks. Uh, it's got a nice weighty feel to it. If we have a look inside the box, the, bo the actual cards are quite nicely um, compact in there, so you need to give the box a bit of a shake to get them out. Put that to one side, and we can see they all have Ghosts of America on the back and we'll go through the actual ghosts that are supplied with um, Ghosts of America. So we have the Stanley Hotel, the Bell Witch, Waverly Hills, no bizarre routine would be uh, complete without a Waverly Hills reference, Ghosts of Gettysburg, the Lemp Mansion, Tony Joe Henry and Mary Laveau. Lizzie Borden House, the Triangle Fire, uh, Dudley Town, the House of Death, the White Lady, the Red Eyes, Eastern State Penitentiary, of course Annabelle, Resurrection Mary, the Axe Murder House, uh, Amityville, Witch City, which is of course Salem, Sleepy Hollow, the Lincoln Funeral Train, the Entity, Union Cemetery, the Spy House, the Winchester House, and the RMS Queen Mary. Now one thing you'll notice about some of the ghosts in these decks is that there's a widespread of modern and old ghosts from history, yet the cards um, naturally look old. Now the cards aren't meant to evoke any particular age, they're just meant to look dusty and creepy as you would expect for a ghost based routine. Um, the cards are really nice thick stock, as you can see here, and they've all been individually aged um, with a finish that gives them a, they feel dusty and slightly mildewy. Um, but still quite um, tactile, sort of, sort of velvety. It's a very nice finish, and it's the finish that gives the cards their weight. What we'll do is we'll put these to one side and we'll have a look now at the Ghosts of Great Britain. Again, they all come individually in these aged boxes, so have a look. Obviously, identical apart from the actual content in the back so Ghosts of Great Britain give the box a good shake again as I say they're quite tightly packed in there and we'll go through some of the um, Ghosts of Great Britain so we have the Hooded Monk this particular image scared the hell out of me as a child it was um, originally on the opening sequence to Arthur C. Clarke's World of Strange Powers and uh, this particular ghost, uh, ghost um, led me to have many, many sleepless nights. Um, Borley Rectory, again no um, book on English Ghost would be complete without a reference to the Borley Rectory. The Black Eyed Girl, the Greenwich Ghost, the Raynham Spectre, the Plague House, Bodmin Jail, Hampton Court Palace, Highgate Cemetery, the Enfield Poltergeist, the, the Kneeling Priest, 50 Berkeley Square, the Viaduct Tavern, the Hellfire Caves, the Dutch Doll, the Burning Girl, Sneeton Castle, anyone who's familiar with Doomsday will particularly like the little story um, about Sneeton Castle, the White Lady, the Watcher, The Handless Girl, Lord Combermere, The Black Abbot, The Passenger, 
the Screaming Skull, Pendle Hill and Arundel Altar. So as with both decks they all have a brief description of the ghost and during your routine your spectators will both arrive on exactly the same card and that will lead you to almost give the impression that you've channeled that ghost to your performance which is quite a nice nice feature um, both of the decks also come with one of Octavius Rookwood's bespoke tools of divination. Now if we have a look inside, they're each individually boxed and anyone familiar with um, Oculus will know exactly what this does. So if we take it out of the box, it is a bibliomancy device. So it's designed for using words and numbers divined from books. So it comes provided with this card so the spectator will be asked if they are a, um, a words or numbers person and a number will be selected or a word will be selected which also corresponds to a number. On the back gives you a, um, a brief history of bibliomancy so you're able to tell the audience all about what these are for and it comes in two designs there's the um, spiritual advisor and if we have a look at the the other one we have this one is more in keeping with the uh, ghosts of great britain and ghosts of america cards put this to one side um, this is uh, the uh, the older style version okay so exactly the same uh, description on the back about bibliomancy and on the front here um, we have the eye with upon the pages let me glide and the circled word shall be your guide and again it's used for selecting a word or a number and it can be used with any publication as well it doesn't have to be used with this particular card you can use this with any book um, so it's essentially a book test as well so you could use this with any book magazine newspaper publication whatever you want this can be used for um, forcing a particular word when you order you get a choice of this card or this card i do plan on designing more um, so uh, keep an eye out on the lebanon circle website um, you can also buy these separately um, if you wanted to so you could have both when you place your order and that is really it for a quick unboxing of ghosts of great britain and Ghosts of America and it's available now via the Lebanon Circle website.